guys, here we have Mr. Pops at Greg Lynch Durham PA here. We have a cyst that is in the earlobe and just recently it got inflamed. So um, it's turned into like a small abscess or an inflamed cyst. So what we're going to do is numb up that whole earlobe and then we're going to make a little cut there, get that fluid out. And then we should be able to get the sac because this is a small area. And just a couple weeks ago, that sac, you know, it's about the size of a dime. So it's a decent sized cyst. It just may have burst. So we're going to get that numbed up and then make a little cut. We may do some stitches on this one because it's pretty newly getting inflamed. There, there may be a little bit of pus, but if we can get that whole sack out, we'll just close it up. Um, if not, though, you know, depending on what I see, sometimes we'll leave it open so it can drain for a couple days and maybe start an antibiotic and see if we culture. Okay, so we'll get started right now. Okay, guys, Mr. Pops it here. We've got the earlobe abscess, which is a small cyst where I'm hoping we're going to be able to get out. Um, that kind of got inflamed. You scheduled for a surgery in just the last couple of days. It got inflamed. So we're going to see what we get out of this. Just make a small cut and try and drain this pocket for him here. Let's see, we should get some cyst contents and some fluid here. Just a little cut on the back of the ear. There we go. So that's exactly what I thought we were going to get pretty quickly. Contents and purulent discharge. I'll grab that for me. All in just one small poke. <laughs> that looks good. Now we should have cyst right there because this was a pretty firm cyst that was down in there, and there's not a whole lot of space in between the front and the back of the ear, just in that lobe. Um, looks like it was starting to dissolve a little bit with inflammation. That is looking good. Just going to use, he's pretty numb there. Use the forceps to see if there's any cyst particles. Snip those out, and that's pretty quick on these smaller ones. That's good. Okay, and we're going to see if we can get some cyst. If, you, if there's any pain, let me know, okay? Okay. There's a little pocket that goes down this way, actually. <clears throat> Cis contents, but they're kind of gelatinous, almost like jelly. No pain there. Mm -mm. Good. I don't feel anything. <laughs> Perfect. Got you nice and numb. see it just falls apart so easily once that inflammation starts everything kind of turns to almost like pudding <laughs> just little bits of that cyst there but what he will feel with all that pressure gone it's going to feel a lot better oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah instantly <laughs> you'll feel that today are just it's all cyst kind of wall dissolving there yeah yeah they're getting bits and pieces out a little bit at a time Yeah, 
Like he's coming in and out of focus. Yeah, I'm going back and forth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's just wall there. It's really adherent to the sides, but we're getting that. I'm going to snip you know, a little extra piece of skin there. We're going to snip too. It just kind of, that's the thinned out skin. It just kind of falls apart where the cyst was. Should come together just a tiny little line and we're gonna see if we can get I'm gonna try and trim a little bit of that out some of that's just fat tissue in there but there you can see some cyst right there one more time thank you there we go coming from that's a good chunk of cyst right there I got got it thank you can open that up and really look in there and see with the light we'll cauterize that just a little just fat tissue there I think the last chunk was the biggest chunk of cyst so let me do one more I'll have you dab while I got it open all like that. A little chunk of cyst hiding in the fat right here. We'll grab that, get below it here. Snip. Perfect. Okay, looks good down in there. There's some fat tissue and just a little purulent discharge tiny bit of cyst wall right there again. I almost got it all. It's looking really good. My hand's totally in the way. <laughs> okay. So what we'll do is cauterize that base in there a little bit. Sometimes that'll burn out a little bit of that cyst lining that might be remaining. One more dab there, sorry. I'm going to be able to look down in there. Perfect. Got it. That's the very bottom of the pocket right there. Nice. That's a pretty good chunk of the cyst wall at the bottom. Coming out. Got it. That's it right there. That was kind of the bottom part of that. So now we look in there, it's mostly just fat tissue. Don't see any more white chunks of cyst. And that's good. We can do uh we can do like a 5-0, just a couple little stitches there. <laughs> Thank you. originating from. There's some fat tissue down in there. That's fat tissue right there that's more yellow. Okay. Looks like most of the bleeders, just a couple small stitches, and I'll close that up. 
Not going to be a whole lot of drainage there because it's not a very big pocket at all. Close that and we're good. Cut out a little bit of that thinned out skin too. You can see there's still a little left, but that should be okay. So just a couple small stitches. There'll be a little bit at the edge that will still drain because it's going to drain because it was a small abscess for two or three days, but this will kind of help it heal a little better. I normally don't put stitches in abscesses, but this one was so new. I just saw them a couple, you know, a week ago maybe, and it was completely dry. So this will, should dry up a lot quicker because it's so new and we got it out fairly quickly. Some of that thinned out skin there, good. Just gonna do three little stitches. Might have you, oh, just kinda go like that. Thank you. <clears throat> we'll put a little pressure bandage back there. I'm gonna leave the very end, just a little room to drain. Like we always say, when it's an abscessed cyst, it is really hard to get it 100%. It looked good, but if it's one little tiny bit of that cyst wall, it is possible it'll reform. We tried to scrape everything out and got everything visually, even burned the base a little bit. However, you know, sometimes there'll be a little bit in there. If it reforms, we'll come back to it when it's dry, not abscessed and inflamed, and we'll be able to easily get it out. Okay, so that looks good. Nice and flat, a little bit of extra skins bunched up there, a little tissuey version that should come together all behind the ear, scar that really won't be seen. And still, we can push out a little bit of fluid from the edges, so we're still going to get some draining there. But that looks great, and we did get a pretty good amount of cyst contents and then that purulent discharge that was in there. So all that is going to feel much better. Thanks again to him for sharing and thanks for popping by guys. And we'll have him back to get the stitches out in just a week. All right, guys, this was the earlobe abscess. It was a cyst and then it got inflamed. You can see here when it's peeling, it's healing. So as that bump retracts, you'll start to see because it was pretty pooched out there. Um, he's doing great. I don't feel anything in the middle there at all. So there's no, it doesn't feel like any residual cyst. And we'll get those stitches out. He just has a little bit of pink and light red, but that went down almost completely within a week. And we'll get those stitches out and then it'll kind of go away. And with a very minimal scar, you can't even really see the cut line there either. So that looks good. And that's the end of that story. Thanks to him for sharing. Hey guys, Mr. Popsit here. If you like what you just saw, make sure to pop all the buttons. See you soon.